Hi guys, Flader here. Today I'm here with another Spyro and Unity 3D update. And this update is pretty cool. It's something I've wanted to do for a little while. But before we get into that, there's a link in the description to the series playlist for all these videos. And if you're new, I recommend you go watch them. But if you're not new, then welcome to the new video. And I can't wait to show you this. I have wanted to do this since I brought Spyro stuff into Unity. So we'll hop into the scene view real quick and get started. If you've seen the title of the video, this is about uh, texture filtering. So if you get really close to these textures, you can see that they're kind of blurry and pixelated. You can even tell that, yeah, it just doesn't look very good. It's very pixely. And uh, if you imported it, these textures, you notice that the filter mode the default is bilinear. And if we switch to bilinear, you can see if you zoom in, wow, it's nice and smooth. But here's the issue. These... Oh, what it does is it samples nearby textures for the filtering process and you get these very hard ugly edges and they're everywhere not just in the scene view you'll also see them in the game view so it wasn't possible to use any filtering you had to use you had to use point filter or no filter and so this is something that i've wanted to solve for a little while and as of tonight i think i finally have so I'm going to show you a new experimental tool for Glader Spyro tools. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually generate a 2D texture array. Now, you want to make sure that this is rewrite enabled and you want to disable compression. It's going to warn you about some stuff if you don't do that. These tools will be available in the 0.0.2 version of these tools that I'll upload later tonight. So let's go ahead and generate this array, this texture array, and we'll set the filter mode. I don't know if this is just how the inspector is or if it's broken or what, but this is what I see. We'll set it to zero, and I've created an experimental shader that I'll go ahead and show you a bit of the source of after this. So we switch to this, and we switch to this, and you'll see, wow, it still it works. It's exactly the same, just as pixelated. Um, looks the same, but here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. Uh, we can actually switch the filter mode by changing the filter mode to 1 to bilinear. And you'll see that we don't have any cracks in the game view anymore. So let me go ahead and run the game view so I can move this around. You can see that there is a crack, but that's from the wrap mode. You have to set it to clamp which is one. And you can see this very, very small seam. It's hardly noticeable. And in fact, if you change the filter mode, what's more noticeable is when it's all pixelated and ugly like that. So there is a trade-off here. But the filter mode, you get something nice, especially for big things. Let's go take a look at this. That is quite pixelated. This looks very bad. We switch it to filter mode by linear by typing one. And wow, that's a lot smoother, a lot nicer. This seam isn't something that I know how to get rid of, but it is a far cry from the seams that we used to see. And this this is pretty, uh, I think I consider a pretty large uh, accomplishment because I did set out to do this. and It took a long time to come up with how exactly I was going to accomplish this. But yeah, you can see it, it is pretty, it makes a big difference, especially in places that don't have to tile or don't have, um, it's not even the tiling that's the issue. It's uh, when textures that blended usually, when they were pixelated like this, no longer blend perfectly with the texture filtering. I'm going to look into how to address that. But as of right now, I think it's a decent trade-off to go from what looks like something you'd see on the PlayStation 1 to something you might see on the next generation of consoles where things are a bit smoother. But like I said, it is far from perfect. It is not without its pros and cons. But I'm excited about it. I think it's interesting. So let's hop through the shader code just for a few seconds. And here's the experimental... Thing. We, we take in a 2D array, 
There's some macros for finding them. And then our sampling essentially becomes we have to convert to uh, tile space. I'll call it tile space. That sounds like a good name. We convert to tile space and then we have to sample the array at the tile index that we're interested in. And then essentially everything else goes uh, more or less like that. Uh, these features don't work yet, like animation and emission and stuff. They don't work just yet. Um, but I'm going to work on that. But yeah, that's that's the video today. Basically, you won't really notice this if moving quickly. Also, I probably should show what it looks like in Spyro World Viewer. It looks bad. Ooh! That went full screen. I'm not even sure if you can see this right now. But yeah, it looks really bad. It looks actually not good. But we set the filter mode in here. Wow, that looks nice. Now the next thing would be to get rid of the seam if that's even possible. But for now, at large distances, if you're not looking very closely, this just looks a lot better. Even when you get up close, it looks a lot better. So yeah, that's the update for today. Stay tuned for future updates. And I'll let you guys know when I have them. I'm not sure what that is. Is that the MSAA? Yeah, we gotta disable the MSAA. That's what that weird stuff was. I forgot. Yeah, you still can't use MSAA. Sorry, guys. This didn't fix that issue. I'm not sure what will, if anything. Oops, world viewer. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I'll have these tools posted a bit later. And hopefully you guys find some use for them. Thanks for watching.